guys welcome back to my channel my name is Bassiana Joyce if you guys are new here hello and welcome so today I would like to show you guys what an ideal morning routine would look like for me I really do believe that having a great morning routine and nighttime routine is really great for your mental health for your self-care I think it's very important so ideally I would wake up like an hour 45 minutes before I actually need to get up so that I can do some morning meditation some prayer and also some stretching so with with my morning meditation i think it's key because it lays the foundation of calmness and a balance for the day ahead it helps to center the mind manage my stress and enhance my overall emotional well-being and it doesn't obviously have to take too long it can just be a few minutes out of the day but i prefer to make it 10 minutes so that i can get into that deep meditation and i think it's a perfect time because it's still quiet and it allows me to get into that you know meditative state like i said and i also make sure to make an effort to have some time with god because there's never obviously a wrong time to talk to God but I feel like a morning is a great time to spend that time with God and really you know put time aside to connect to read his word read his wisdom and just let God handle the day ahead tell him about my worries and my plans and just prioritize that time for me and God so after I've done that I'll grab my mat and make my way downstairs to do some stretches but before that I will grab my vitamin so i take the floridix liquid iron that i bought from boots and i find that this has been a game changer when it comes to my tiredness because i feel so tired during my days especially on a work day when it gets to about 3 3 30 p.m i am literally hanging on by thread and ever since i've been drinking this liquid iron i feel like my tiredness has definitely decreased so once I'm ready, I put on my girl Mad Fit on YouTube and I begin some stretches. Ideally, this is what I'd love to do on a day today. Look at my form. Oh my gosh, cringe. But I just feel like stretching first thing on the morning can really relieve any kind of tension or pain that I might have from like sleeping. And also because it kind of increases obviously your blood flow and prepares your body for, you know, the day ahead, can get your energy levels rising. And I just feel like I have so much tension built up. I feel like my body's tense and because because I don't exercise, like I don't go running. I sometimes walk and um, I go to the gym once a week, not gym, sorry, swim once a week. Um, but I don't feel like my body is moving around enough. So I feel like until I'm going to the gym regularly, like I feel like this is a good way to get my body moving alongside obviously the swimming once a week and my walks that I go now and again because it's winter and it gets dark and I can't walk in the dark. So yeah, anyways, so. I really do feel like the mindfulness, the meditation and the prayer helps calm my mind, whereas the stretching can help calm my body as I feel so much lighter from it. It really helps, again, like I said, release any tension, any built up emotions that may be, you know, lingering around. I just feel like it's a really great release, um, especially because I'm not, you know, doing the um, excessive not excessive, um, vigorous exercise, that's the word I was looking for, so as you can see, I'm very, what's the word for opposite to flexible, I'm not flexible, the form is terrible, I am tense, like, it's awful, but I'm working on it, hopefully, I can do this every day, because like I said, I need that, I really need that, but the form, mm -mm. So after doing some stretches, I can now move on to my breakfast and I've really been 
intentional in regards to my breakfast as of late especially when I started this new job and like I obviously having to go into the office nine to five so I really make it an effort to have my breakfast because it can really affect my mood and like energy levels for the day they do say that the breakfast um, breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day as breakfast breaks the overnight fasting period it replenishes your supply of like glucose to boost your energy levels and alertness while also providing other essential nutrients required for good health so I typically eat Greek yogurt with some granola like this is my go-to breakfast like it's quick simple and it gets the job done and I actually like it like I really do like it especially because it has like raisins in it and I love me some raisins and I just really enjoy that breakfast if I run out of um the Greek yogurt I will typically go for a Greg's breakfast like a bacon and egg sandwich um which is i don't know it's not that healthy but i enjoy it um guilty pleasure um but yeah then i'll get ready for the day i really do feel like getting ready is the most important you know thing that you can do <laughs> wait not most important thing you can do it's one of the most important things you can do i feel like the choice to dress up and feel good or not can really affect your mental health in many ways psychologists say that putting in the effort into your appearance um, even if it's just like the tiniest bit is one of the most important things people can do for their emotional, mental and psychological health. I always say if you look good, you feel good and you do good. And that's always the goal. Like I want to be able to feel good. Like I really want to feel good because when I feel good, I've got that confidence. I've got that self-esteem and I feel like I'll just go about my day in a better way. I feel like I'll be more like Jesus <laughs> in all my ways and the ways in which I speak to people, address people and the way I'm productive at work and you know the goals that I set for myself I feel like I'd be more likely to achieve than if I was looking bummy and you know just scruffy so I think putting in effort to your appearance is extremely important and I think we should definitely all be you know prioritizing this. So yeah this is just me getting ready um, and you'll see that I put on a cute outfit and just feeling ready for the day and that's it really. I just thought it'd be nice to come here and tell you guys what I would love to do on a day-to-day -day basis. I am really working very hard on implementing this and making it part of a stable, secure routine. I even have like accountability Sundays with my friend because I really want to make this a habit. I don't know why guys but I struggle so deeply with consistency and I'm really, really, really trying to work on it and I feel like once I get a morning routine settled and also a nighttime routine which I will be uploading as well, my ideal nighttime routine. So you guys can see ideally what my best self would be doing on a night time. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, serves as motivation for myself and maybe for yourself. It can give you inspo for you to sort your own life out. But yeah, this is me looking cute or whatever. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.